Hey guys, um, I'm going to share my sketchbook. Uh, it's a recent sketchbook I bought like six months ago. Maybe it's not recent, but it's really hard to keep in my sketchbook, you know, while you're having like, you know, a lot of like, you know, the, the, the work and uh, teaching all that. But I'm going to, this is my first time actually sharing with you guys. Um, so all the sketches here was done by um, all this material. Like I'm going to have like a separate video about like, you know, what, <laughs> what all these like, you know, the brushes are, but I think that 80% of uh, all these sketches was done by uh, this Penta brush pen, which is my favorite book, uh, favorite book, favorite uh, the pen these days. So right? you got the pen the same time as your sketchbook? No, no, oh, okay. no, it's actually. Years. It's been, it's been years, like my previous sketchbook and all that, but. Um, so can, what size is your sketchbook? My sketchbook size is, it looks like it's 11 by eight and a half, the letter right, size, like yeah. Yeah, I like big sketchbook. You know, I used to use um, the really small one, the most kind. Mm -hmm. That's uh, it's like maybe like two thirds of uh, like that's a sketchbook right. size. But sometimes like, you know, I like draw things bigger. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I change the size. But only downside of this is the paper is like really thin. So, thin so it bleeds thin. through in the back. So you don't have that like like the nice spread when you kind of flip the pages like you know, it's pretty it's just filled with like really nice sketches on both ways you know you don't have that so maybe I'll go back to you know that that sketch but after this that but that size does not come with heavier weights that I don't know maybe I should look for it maybe. yeah maybe maybe you can buy it from me yeah. why did you <laughs> write the first page oh this one I gave to a bunch of my uh, like friends, you know, I sketched it and then they wanted to sketch it. So I like, hey, like you can have it. And a lot of times, um, yeah. So Did anyway, you sign it? Did no. You sign? Oh, you mean the, those uh, the drawings? Yeah. Yeah. That you gave out? Yeah. I okay. mostly I gave. Uh, yeah, I signed them, uh, but I didn't charge it. So that's yeah. Only yeah. So maybe I should charge it. So um, these are your personal sketchbooks. Yeah, this is my personal sketchbook. Sometimes I do, actually I read one of those pages too. Um, for work, I sometimes just start my initial sketch, like, you know, the blue sky ideas like in here as well. So I, yeah, so I read those pages uh, just in case, you know, case yeah, just in case. Sketchbook. Just in case lose a sketchbook and then I don't think I can share that. Right. Right, so yeah, um, yeah, so the, I cover everything from characters to, you know, the, the you know, vehicles, max, sometimes like the building sketches. Um, yeah, so it's not limited to like any subject matters. So it's just whatever that pops in my head, like I, I try to draw it. Um, for a while, like I was really obsessed with this uh, kind of like a steampunk, um, you know, the Victorian science. So, and I'm also a huge Mac, uh, Mac person, like Mac and prop is one of my uh, specialty as well um so i try to combine with you know those like you know victorian era you know like the gothic and and also like you know the the baroque elements to this like mechanical like the vehicles and stuff like that which is very very uh interesting um and then one of my favorite subjects too so yeah maybe in the future uh, i know like uh, we're making and um all these like different the video series series um hopefully i can um to share this technique as well with you guys. So I keep, um, so this is a little more sci-fi stuff. Sometimes I draw cars and like the mechs, as you, as you guys can see, like, you know, it's me the, the vehicle and mech is it's, uh, it's mostly uh, it's my favorite genre here. Again, I went back to more like a steampunk type of uh, the vehicle designs. So yeah, and then this one. Yeah, you, as you can see, like I use all different types of materials like you know it's all the way from mostly here I use the penta brush pen and then this one is actually I use the micron and then different size of the micron pen and I use the copy marker to um, to establish my values here so right so yeah and so I was like really into these uh, like Victorian era slash like kind of steampunk and then sci-fi uh, the, the genre so, yeah, I was explaining that. I draw pretty big. Yeah. I, I I draw pretty big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I I don't think this is. I don't consider this is that big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the other people draw too small. You know. It's, mm -hmm. Um. But. Yeah. I can. You know. I can exp explore like a lot more stuff. 
when I draw like you know at least like a this size rather than like you know when I draw things like the very tiny and small like this I mean it's, it's a different you know it's like yeah. there's pros and cons right like drawing small and big but um, but bigger with a bigger sketchbook I can I can draw both small and big but if I have like just only small sketchbook it's kind of hard to to do that um, cowboy people fan art <laughs> and then yeah, I was like just kind of going with like just more, um, what's this, Ko Yokoyama, I think. Oh no, I, I forgot his name. There's a Japanese mech, mech designer. Um, he did a uh, Dragon Heaven. Um, it's very heavily influenced by the Mobius. Mm -hmm. It's a very old anime, so I was kind of mimicking his style. He uses a lot of cross etching technique on top of like this really you know dark ink um, the shape. So. Yeah, these are more like a simpler sketches. And then here's more um, like a building sketches that I did. So mostly like the sketchbook sketches, I usually don't use reference, like unlike, you know, my other approaches. So whatever, like it's in my head, you know, like all this like in the visual libraries already, you know, I've seen it before or I designed before in my like previous project or yeah, I try to kind of memorize those and then, you know, draw. So do you do these? To relax or as a study? Oh, as a study. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I ever get relaxed. You know, when when I like so I draw this. Like fan art, you did it to for some kind of contribute or. Oh, uh, for fan art, no. I think it's just. Um, you just I just wanted to do it. I just wanted to do it. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, these are more like really simple the sketches. So I think that one of the the videos I'll, I'll the lecture video I'll make it soon is this type of uh, like how to. How to come up with like a really quick Mac design using, you know, you get, you already um, can feel like these are uh, from like, you know, the insects or like the animals. Uh, so I was kind of like a practicing, you know, um, the how I can actually approach those ideas. You know, like the spiders, you know, like it's like fish or like, you know, the jellyfish. And yeah. And then different stages and then even just doing a little more details using like the micron actually, right? So I think the working in a traditional medium is a really great, like it gives you like kind of different feel to it. And then also it teaches you like kind of different things compared to just doing everything in Photoshop. Um, so I really, my, my favorite process is like you do initial sketches and then you do initial like in a concept stage um, with a traditional medium. And then you actually transfer these to the Photoshop and then you finish it up. So, yeah, that's uh, was, yeah my my favorite process. And I think that's that's it. Um, yeah, I, I know I only filled like a twenty percent the entire sketchbook. Is so hopefully I can um, share this again with you guys do once you, I kind of finish the whole the whole sketchbook. Do you ever do observation work there, like you know cafe sketch or your family? I used to, but I don't do that anymore. Why not? I don't do that anymore. Um, if I do, uh, yeah, so that's an interesting question. I don't know why. Um, yeah, because, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's a personal sketchbook, but then it mm -hmm. usually looks like your yeah. like a preparatory work for something, mm -hmm. you know? I think one of the reasons is, like, if I want to do that, I just want, I probably want my sketchbook just, you for know, the dedicated to do that. So it, it kind of separates. I kind of want uh, this sketchbook to be my, uh, like, a little, like, you know, like portfolio, like oh, the first okay. portfolio, like kind of, you know, only tribute to these type of, you know, the stuff. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm a little too picky. And then I don't know, maybe every artist has like a different way of uh, their, keeping their sketchbook. So maybe you want to just carry two different sketchbooks then. Maybe. Right. Yeah. Maybe. And my plan is like my plan, hopefully I buy one of those uh, watercolor sketchbook mm -hmm. and then I can study some color studies, you know, the scene great. studies and the stories that I come up with and I can do like some color uh, studies with uh, like the watercolors too. So a sketchbook that big, does it mean that you carry a backpack every day? No. No? No. So yeah. you don't carry that sketchbook every day? Um, when I go to work, yeah, yes. But these, you know, these days, obviously we stay home. So mm -hmm. sketchbook is always with me. So I guess, yeah. So of course, if I go to work and I always carry a backpack. Also at work. Oh yeah, at work I always carry a backpack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So it makes sense because, you know, sometimes I think people take mm -hmm. super small sketchbook just mm -hmm. to have it in their pocket or their little messenger bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that makes sense too. But, um, That's cool. 
long. So what, how long would it take for you to fill an entire sketch book? <laughs> I don't know. I never, I never counted that. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Hopefully like, you know, because I have a lot of hobbies. I play games. I don't have time these days, but I play games. I make uh, like, you know, the Gunpla. I do a lot of different things. So yeah, but I, my plan is like just at least I finish this sketchbook as soon as possible. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, yeah. What do you want to fill in? Is it just concept, like a lot of mechanical stuff or? Just combination of uh, just all the stuff, you know, it's already here, right? I really yeah. like your fan art. Oh, the fan art? Yeah, I really yeah. like it. Because it's, it, it always has your own twist. Sure, yeah. It's not just copy one to one. That's why I enjoy. Yeah, that, that's actually a good point. These are all, actually all fan art. Even this is fan art for me. So the, this character is, there was a little bit tweak from um, the, the little lady character from the Steam Boy. Mm. You know, so I, obviously this is a more grown up version of her. <laughs> and then like, I kind of put her on top of like this kind of mechanical yeah. um, into the bike. So yeah, and then- I love fan art, but then I mm -hmm. love fan art when artists do their own story. Right, instead right. Of, like, just fancier version of a character, you know? Right, yeah. yeah. And, I, I think, yeah. and I think fans would, and other artists would really appreciate it because mm -hmm. you're also doing it in a traditional medium, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is really, really hard to see these days. Yeah. 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 I think um, as the time passes, like you appreciate more, even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, I feel really lucky because our generation, we experienced not just the digital, right? Like we, yeah. we're the, actually the transition period. Yeah. We're the generation that went through the transition of from the analog mm -hmm. to the digital, right? So I really appreciate it. I'm not, that doesn't mean like in you know, this generation of people, like I think that's why they even, they should strive to go back mm -hmm. and then experience more of like the traditional medium, so. you know, than just doing, you know, even the, even the schools, you know, there, yeah. there's no reason they should take out, you know, the traditional classes yeah. or like the old painting classes because, you know, these days the industry only uses the digital medium. But I think the basis, the way you start is yes. exactly the same. Yeah. So yeah, learn the theory is the same. Yeah, exactly. The, the more and more like we're digitalized, like everyone uses the blender and everyone can use it. Yeah. Everyone uses the Photoshop. And at one point we'll all lose our personality. And then saying, how can you make your work like so unique? And then, you know, so kind of, create something that, you know, everyone can resonate, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's, I think, the answer is in the analog, the answer is in the, in, it's in the process, right? So. I see a lot of your fan arts are based in Japanese animation. Mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. ever do for like, you know, French comics or American films? Actually, telling you the truth, like the French comics, I'm a huge fan of a lot of French comics, like uh, the Sky Doll, uh, the Black Sad and all that. But the interesting thing is, is even the, the golden era of the French like entertainment mm -hmm. is actually is recent. And then a lot of like those are French comic artists, they're heavily influenced by the Japanese, um, Japanese um, the animation as well, such as Akira, uh, you know, all those like 80s and the 90s. Mech so I work with a lot of like the European artists actually right now. And then we have all common you know, the childhood and all the same the inspiration, which is like 80s and 90s, like the Japanese mech design. Of course, we, we had like, we had a lot of influence from the Disney and then like some movies as well. So, um, yeah, I think my inspiration, uh, like, I, it comes from like everywhere, like, you know, the, the Sydney, obviously, like Ron Cobb, you know, the, I think that's the golden era of like the, the Hollywood, uh, we say like the American entertainment, you know, like, um, like James Cameron, like the Alien movies, like the Blade Runner. So those are my inspirations, but same as in the Japanese animation. It's not really like, you know, it's not, it doesn't mean that like the, the today's animators are, you know, not as good as like, um, it's kind of true too, but um, that's, yeah, that's why the golden era of like Japanese animation is like 1980s and 90s. And it was, it was top of everything, everything else. Yeah, so yeah, that's why the inspiration mostly come from that era, you know, and um, yeah, so. So no superhero. Uh, do I, should I be like very uh, careful? Like, was, actually, uh, it's just my childhood. I think we're all like kind of live off from uh, what we used to love in our childhood. And I think it's because we grew up in Korea. You were so exposed to Japanese. Yeah, culture. that's true. But I'm I still a huge fan of um, you know the Batman and Thank Superman. You. So I was more like DC person because yes. Marvel wasn't that big in Korea. Yeah. So all the only superheroes that we we you know knew and the grown up with it was a Superman and Batman. Yeah, so still, 
my one of my biggest collection is uh, Batman actually. Batman, I know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like superhero, I'm all all for it. But when it comes down to like kind of enjoying and studying, uh, and then like kind of implementing that to my art, you know, the aspect and all that, I think it's um, it's a little different, you know. And then my fan art, my like you know the fanhood and yeah. you know what I do as an artist, like it's there's like some kind of crisscrossing yeah. the, the parts too, but it's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hopefully we can do this again yeah. with you guys. And, and, and fill up the sketchbook. Yep. <laughs> Till next time. Thanks, guys.